This next gentleman comes to us from Tampa. Please welcome Bernie Knotts, alias Don Langmeyer. Hello, hello. Hey, does this goddamn neutral system work or not? Huh? Tell me, do you see it twitch at all? It doesn't twitch. I lost uh, 100 pounds in two months, you know. That's great, isn't it? Really? You got you to have two fruits a, w a week, though, you know. Two fruits a day and everything. Trouble is trying to find them damn guys when you're looking for them, you know? <laughs> you know, they always seem to be, uh, be around when you're not looking for them, but when they're looking for them, you can't find them. But you can switch off a fruit once in a while, though, it says in the plant. Hey, listen, uh, you know, Japanese are, are, are strange people. Uh, I don't trust anybody with slanted eyes and eats raw fish, you know? And I found out uh, the other day why women have, uh, Japanese women have gold diaphragms, you know? That way their husband can come into money, you know? And listen, I had a friend of mine, his name was Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy was a multi-personality individual. All right, and uh, he was a sex-craved kid. And when we were younger, uh, we decided, well, we'll get a J Jimmy downtown and get him to a red light district and get him his first shot here. So Jimmy was also a hair lip, okay? So we took him down there and uh, we got him a professional. So uh, Jimmy says, uh, me and, and I, want a, I want a professional for my first shot. He said, I, I want somebody who knew what you knew it. So he said, hey, Jimmy, no problem. We took him down there, we paid the $13, and we got a professional. <laughs> she took him upstairs, and she said, son, she says, you, I'm a professional. She said, you got to tell me what you want. Jimmy said, well, yeah. Uh, I didn't come up here for a little pussy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all I wanted. She says, no, 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 son. She's got to tell me what you want. She says, you want French? You want a six nine? She says, around, around the world, you want a straight job? She says, you got to tell me, boy. You know, oh, shit. He says, yeah. give, give me that there, 59. That sounds good. I'll take that. So the guy went ahead and got in position and got started. And this lady was, you know, 30 years past her prime. Finally got a little gas pain. Oh, she said. But she just kind of let it fly, you know. <laughs> a few minutes later, she's, she, she got another one. She goes, oh, God. She couldn't move. She couldn't jump on. She just kind of let it fly. A few minutes later, she got another one. She goes, oh. She just, oh. That one, she just kind of, for 13 bucks, she just kind of let that one go. Yeah. She said, she turned around. She said, well, son, she says, what do you think so far? Jimmy said, holy shit, eh? He said, I want to tell you. He said, what you're doing there is just dynamite. Just fantastic. He said, but I, I tell you what, lady. He said, I can't take 67 more of those damn things. <laughs> tell you right now. <laughs> and just, Jimmy, a few years later, he got himself a job. <laughs> working in a diner, okay? Now, oops. People who don't remember what a diner was, that's where they took a railroad train and put it by the side of the road. They called that a restaurant. Now, if you've ever been in one of these greasy spoons, it had usually two good-looking women and three that were god-awful ugly. We had Jimmy cooking, and we had Theo doing dishes. Now, Theo, oh, God, I want to tell you about Theo. Theo was uh, uh, not real cerebral. Okay. I mean, he used to eat dinner out of the bus pans when it came back. He ate good, shall I say. Oh, well, Jimmy turned around and he says, uh, always hitting on the waitresses and always, always giving them a hard time. A little girl come back. She said, Jimmy, she said, I have an order. He said, oh, my God, honey. He said, I'm in love with you. She said, Jimmy, come on. He said, no. He said, I am. He said, honey, I love you to death. She said, 
Well, Jimmy, not now. Just fix the order. He said, next time you come back, honey, you and me going right outside. He said, I'm going to give you just a little bit. He said, I'm just going to put it in a little ways, and if you don't like it, I'll take it out. He said, I won't even move it. Five minutes later, they were out the door. We had another one that was 80 years old, skinny, and you ever see them but they didn't have any teeth, yet they would turn around and, and take the, yeah, no teeth, they'd turn around and take that lipstick and draw their lips on, <laughs> ear to ear. She'd work the counter. She'd come back and he, Jimmy would go, oh my God, well, you don't you be looking at me. He said, you're too damn ugly. He said, you can't be making any money out there. She said, oh, ho, ho, ho. He said, oh, thank God, say something, and close your mouth. He said, I can't hit that anymore. Finally, a guy came in, and he turned around, and he said, uh, I'm here, I'm going to kick the jet out of the cook. He said, I was here last night, and he says, I'm sick. The waitress came back, she said, Jimmy, there's a man outside, and he's going to kick your ass, because you're the cook. <laughs> Jimmy said, he's going to kick my ass. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm going, you know, he took off the apron, threw it down. He marched outside, saw the guy standing there, walked right up to him. The guy was six foot four, 250 pounds. And Jimmy walked right up to him and said, You are you going to kick the cook's ass? The guy said, That's right, son. He said, I'm going to beat him to a pulp. He said, Well, I'm the dishwasher. I'm going to get him. <laughs> he ran in the back. He said, Deal. He said, There's a guy out there that wants to talk to you. You just tell him your name's Cookie. A few minutes later, old Theo walked back off bloody mess. He says, man, he says, I don't want to bust any more tables out there, Jimmy. He says, I can't handle that. That's a tough job. He says, I'm going back to my bus pants. Girl would turn around. She turned in a check. And she said, Jimmy, what's all that green stuff you're putting on that plate? He goes, that's parsley. She said, parsley? He said, yeah, that's parsley. She said, oh, I never heard of that. He said, you don't know the difference? He said, between parsley and pussy? She said, no. He said, nobody eats the damn parsley. I kind of know. And listen, my name's Don Langmeyer. Thank you very much. <laughs>